What's up fiends? This is Cal from Gaming Fiends and I have a special video for you guys today. I'm doing a dual commentary with Ice Gaming, in other words Hunter. Hunter, introduce yourself. Hey, what's up Gaming Fiends? Uh, my name is Hunter, as Cal said, also the concussion. Alright, great. So what we want to talk about today is uh, the Modern Warfare 3 reveal trailer. Uh, so the first thing, what did you think about it, Hunter? Like, uh, uh, you know, all the all the stuff from that from the trailer what did you think about it what what made you happy what didn't make you happy about it um well to start off i'm not really a big uh like i guess you could say zombies player but watching the uh the film that was released that i mean that might turn me into a zombies player because that looked like tons of fun with all the different um like uh, once you kill somebody you earn money to buy things like that i thought that was you know really cool so that's what i was looking forward to actually yeah i know definitely right it's just like it's zombies, but you know you're fighting soldiers and things like that with guns, and then you have the the juggernauts that come in, and uh, that that really surprised me. You know they're bringing back the juggernauts. That looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. And also, and also the the point streaks, oh, right? Did you see those in the multiplayer yeah. part? Oh yeah, that was like a huge like when I first saw that I had no idea what that was. Yeah. I thought that, I thought like it like showed you where you were on your kill streak, but then I realized that that's a it said point streak, not a kill streak. So I had to go back to exactly. take a double take and found out what that was. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think they were saying, because if you watch one of my videos, I was talking about how they're going to reward you for playing by the objective. So I think I was figuring out by every what everybody was saying that that's that's what your reward is. You know, the point streaks, the point streaks is because from, uh, you know, capturing flags get or getting kills, too. Yeah. Like, you know, um, I was watching a Woody's gamer tag and like he was saying how like the point streaks it would it, it it's not just you know like getting kills for your kill streaks the point streaks actually you know if you cap a flag if you cap like four flags you might get to four point streaks so that's you know yeah, rewarding exactly. player that does the uh does the object or plays the objectives especially because when you uh you know when you can't get a kill or uh you, you know you're afraid to go out there like let's say it was in black ops and you know you need one kill until attack dogs then instead of just going out for that kill you could capture a flag and then you get to that point streak which is pretty cool yeah and the, it... also they said uh you know that you could scroll through the kill streaks which is pretty awesome yeah i would agree you know it's it's they're taking like a much more um aggressive way to get people to stop camping and play uh play the objective more and i think this role is gonna like or this uh path that they're taking is gonna turn out really well yeah, I hope so. I hope so. It does work out for that. Also, another thing I heard was that, I don't know if it's true, but they said that if for like to stop camping, if a person stays in one spot for too long, uh, they didn't confirm the time, like how long, but if they stay in that place for too long, then it shows a red dot on that on the mini map for that spot, which looks which is, sounds really awesome. Like, yeah, that that, that yeah, sounds continue. like it's. Um, yeah, that sounds like it's going to be like a great idea, like to um, prevent camping. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, it's, I'm just tired of people sitting in the back of the map. Just, you know, it's just getting sitting so tired. There, especially in the corners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like with the ghost <laughs> bro and stuff. It's yeah. like finally now there's a way that they, you can say, OK, this kid's camping. We can go get him now. Yeah, you can stop them, right? Yep. <laughs> also, another thing, what, uh, quick scoping, right? I'm glad they bring quick scoping back. I really enjoyed quick scoping Model Fred 2 also. Yep, I would agree. You know, my friends and I, we loved it so much. We'd go in like to always warm up a game for playing the Modern War, playing Modern Warfare 2. We'd go in and we play a quick scope game real quick, and then we'd go out and play. So quick scoping was it, it was big for uh, for the IC3 team. Yeah, exactly. Now, it's, it was a lot of fun in Modern Warfare 2, especially for all, especially because, you know, track they're so anti, anti-sniping <laughs> because yeah. of what they did with Black Ops, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I understood what they were going for, but they, they overdid it, you know? It was like, they're just, they tried to prevent, you know, things that people hated and the sniping, you know, most people hated it, but tons of people also, you know, they loved it, so they kind of just threw themselves under the bus right there. Exactly the, exactly the majority of the people love sniping, and I love sniping too. Also, one more thing: what did you think of the uh, Modern Warfare 3, the mini map? How detailed it was. 
Oh, that's 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 gonna be like incredible. For I'm always checking my mini map. I'm always checking the radar. You know, once I throw up a spy plane, I'm always looking exactly. Okay, where can I find people? It's gonna be a big help for me and also the other people that are um, radar whores, I guess you could say. Yeah, exactly. Because then, like, you you don't have those flimsy outlines of the buildings and the stuff like that. But you, it's it's almost like it's 3D. You know? Yeah. You see the bridge and then the car actually popping out. That that looked pretty awesome. Exactly, you know, and then I'm, I, you know, and like for things like for the flimsiness, you know, it's like, uh, like if it's like a three story building, you have no idea what story there. But this one, you know, I wonder what they're going to do with that, you know? Yeah, I actually heard that they're going to try to prevent camping by uh, making as many less two story buildings as possible. They're going to try to make everything like flat out, you know? Right, right. So, so it yeah. prevents camping because that's what everybody does. They just sit in the buildings. Uh, you know, on top of the staircase, whatever it is. So that's what that's what I heard, of course, from uh, what a lot of people were saying. That's that's uh, tons uh, tons a lot better than you know having somebody who's camping on a on top of a building with the high ground just looking down at you. You're just like sitting ducks with that. Yeah. That's gonna, that's gonna change everything right there. Also, what else? What else do you uh, you know want to talk about Modern Warfare 3? Do you think, do you think the uh, the weapons like are you happy with what weapons they're bringing back? Are you happy with? Uh, do you think you know? Have you played Modern Warfare 2? Because uh, they're bringing back a lot of weapons from Modern Warfare 2. Oh, oh yeah, that was like my big kickoff right there. That was uh, Modern Warfare 2. I played Call of Duty 4, but what got me into actually being a gamer and everything was uh, Modern Warfare 2. And I you know I loved the ACRs, the Tars, the Scars, you know all the rhyming shit that i just did <laughs> so yeah yeah definitely uh i actually got model for two with my first xbox that that's uh that's when i first started you know real gaming i had a ps2 and i had i played call of duty 3 on it but then yeah. uh, I bought the Modern Warfare 2 with uh, an Xbox, and it, that's what that's the first Call of Duty that I played on multiplayer, and that really what sparked my uh, my video gaming, you know, my love for video gaming, yeah. as you could yeah. say. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what, what uh, I want you to tell me a little bit about yourself. What actually got you into uh, making commentaries and YouTube videos? Uh, well, it actually, it started, you know, uh, we all went to all the entire IC3 team. We all went to the same school and we always played together. And um, we, st you know, we started out, you know, just as like noobs having no idea what was going on. And then, our, you know, we watch videos on YouTube and be like, oh, we could totally do that. And we had no idea how to do it. And soon, and we, we were talking, we were like, oh, no, you know, we're not good enough. And once Black Ops came around, we were starting to pull off big games and like, and then we were like, okay, this is what we need to do. We need to go out and get one. So me and a couple of the guys, we went out, got one. And it just, <clears throat> excuse me, it just, you know, started from there. We just said, you know what, this is what we want to do for some fun. And uh, that's what we've been doing. So That's good. Like, I, what mainly, like, started, like, what I want, how I wanted to do get, uh, the YouTube videos was because, you know, as I said, I think if you watch one of my commentaries, I said that I wanted a, you know, more of a better hobby. Because, you know, I like to do video game. I like to play on the computer. And I had some skills in editing. And because uh, I used to make videos before. So I decided, you know, I decided to make these YouTube videos. And I'm ha I've been having fun with it. Like, look at this, uh, you know, my first dual commentary with you. And, uh, you know, th this channel is actually getting somewhere for, bo for the both of us. Exactly. You know, I've, you know, I do tons of things, you know, I'm trying to live life to the fullest. And this is one of the things I've been wanting to do since the beginning of Modern Warfare 2, you know, and I'm finally doing it and I'm loving it. It's just awesome. Yeah, really enjoyable. Awesome. Also, uh, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you like to do? You know, things like that besides gaming. Well, um, outside of uh, gaming, um, I'm not the greatest, I guess you could say, school student, but I do go to a private school, and it's it's tons of fun, even though at private schools, you know, everybody has that idea in their head that, you know, it's like a fancy, you know, always having to wear uh, uniforms and things like that, but it's not always like that, you know, it is pretty fun, um, you know, it's going to help me, and, and then I also play sports, so... That's basically what actually, takes up. Actually, sorry to cut you off. I actually go to a public sc private school too, and uh, you know we have uniform and everything. So yeah, I know what you feel. It's really like a community kind of because it's smaller. You know, not too many students. You know. So exactly. It's like a you know kind of like a home for you. You know your family. 
Yeah. So you know everybody basically. Like I I know most of the people in my high school. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, I could walk around, I could tell you everybody's name in the school, and we're all just like a big happy family over there. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This was a dual commentary with Hunter. Hunter, thanks for coming on with me. Peace. Thank you. Later, guys. Also, remember, guys, check out Hunter's channel. Peace.